Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. In today's do-it-yourself video, we're going to be showing you how to remove the coils and replace the spark plugs on a late model BMW with the N62 V8 engine. Now let's take a closer look at the parts and specialty tools we'll be using for this job. Of course, we have the Bosch spark plugs, which we will be replacing, and the main reason for this video. Now, since we have to remove the coils to access the spark plugs, we're going to install the Bavarian Autosport high performance coils. This will give us a little boost in mileage and a little bit of extra power. This is not required, but we're going to use this opportunity to install the coils. Now, in doing the job, we have a couple of specialty tools. We have magnetic pickup tools. This will be the better one for this particular job, and you'll see that in the video. We have our tight reach wrenches, which again, you'll see us use in the video for the rear spark plug access. We have our Bavarian Autosport fender protector so that we don't hurt our painted surfaces. And of course, the Bentley repair manual, which will give us torque values and any other additional steps or assistance we may need. Okay, now before we get going with the actual work, Remember that all of the parts and the specialty tools that you see us using are available in our online store at bavauto.com. You can also contact our advisors at 800-535-2002 for further assistance if needed. Now let's go ahead and get to the work. In order to access the spark plugs and the coils on the N62 V8 engine, we first need to remove the three plastic trim covers. The center cover is secured via four 10 millimeter acorn nuts. Remove the nuts and lift off the cover. The valve cover trim covers can now be removed. Before removing the driver's side cover, we'll remove the engine air filter housing. Release the five clips that secure the cover to the lower box. The cover is now loose. To fully remove the cover, loosen the hose clamp securing the cover to the intake bellows. Use the flexible 6 mm hose clamp driver. This tool is available at bavauto.com. Remove the mass airflow sensor harness plug protective cover. Release the clips, open the cover, and remove it. Depress the lock tab on the harness plug and remove the plug. Remove the air filter cover from the intake bellows. We can now remove the air filter lower housing. The housing is secured with three Torx head screws. Use a Torx T30. Pull the filter from the housing. The housing is now ready to lift out. There's a small lock tab on the filter inlet snorkel. Push the tab forward to allow the snorkel to pull upward. This flange fits into slots in the forward bulkhead. The tab on the bulkhead locks into this area of the snorkel. We'll now remove the driver's side engine cover. Pull upward on the cover to release the forward and the rearward securing pins. Note the locations of the securing pins and the rubber grommet receivers. The coils are secured by two securing brackets. Remove the two coil securing brackets. Use a E7 Torx bit to remove the coil bracket securing bolts.
Note that the coil securing bracket is marked front for the proper installation position. We'll now remove the rear coil securing clamp. This one is also marked for proper installation. Disconnect the coil harness plugs. If the plug securing clips are too tight to release by hand, use a small screwdriver or pry tool to release the clips. Note that the harness plug will be dislodged and pushed partially off the coil as the clip is pulled fully up. We can now remove the coil. The coil can be pulled straight up and out. If the rubber boot is tightly secured, Use a small screwdriver or similar tool as a puller to remove the coil. Inspect the coil and the spark plug boot for signs of deterioration, electrical arcing, or oil. If there is any oil on the boot, this indicates the need for a valve cover gasket replacement. Follow these same steps to remove the second and third coils. The fourth coil will require a couple extra steps for removal on this E60 chassis 5 series. Other models may or may not require these additional steps. First release and remove the harness plug. Use the pulling tool to pop the coil loose. On this 5 series chassis, once the coil is loose, there's no clearance to pull the coil fully out. We'll need to remove the bracket securing the positive jumper block to the strut tower in order to remove the coil. We'll use the tight reach wrench from BavAuto.com to remove the plastic nut securing the positive battery cable to the chassis. Install a 1 quarter inch drive 10 millimeter socket to the tight reach using the drive adapter. When we apply a quarter inch drive ratchet to the opposite end of the tool, we can remotely turn our socket. Place the socket over the nut, hold the tight reach securely, and operate the ratchet as you normally would to loosen and remove the nut. Pull the plastic cable mounting bracket from the mounting stud and push the cable and bracket down and forward. Pull the rear coil up and forward between the stud and the positive cable. Remove the coil. In removing the spark plugs, we'll use a combination of extensions and our 3 8 drive 16 millimeter spark plug socket. We'll remove the rear spark plug first, as this is the most tedious. All of the others are straightforward. Insert the socket and a mid-length extension, and then insert an additional extension that is long enough to extend out of the spark plug well. Here, we'll use our 3 8 drive tight reach wrench to loosen the spark plug. Install the tight reach to the spark plug socket extensions and then apply a 3 8 drive ratchet to the opposite end of the tool and loosen the spark plug. Remove the tight reach tool. Separate and remove the extension. Now use a magnetic pickup tool available from BavAuto.com to remove the remaining extension, socket, and spark plug. Note that there is no oil on the spark plug insulator. We can now remove the remaining spark plugs. As with the rear plug, use a combination of extensions as required to access each spark plug. Note that there are no signs of oil on these spark plugs. If oil was found on the spark plug bodies or insulators, this would indicate that the valve cover gaskets need to be replaced. These are also available from BavAuto.com. Here you can see that we have installed all but one of the spark plugs, and we've also installed the BavAuto high-performance coils. 
Let's go ahead and install the final spark plug and coil. Apply a small dab of the Liquimoly copper-based anti-seize compound to the spark plug threads. This is available from BavAuto.com. Do not coat all of the threads. Just a dab on the first few threads is all that's needed. Using the spark plug socket and extensions, insert the spark plug into the well and hand thread it until it stops. Use the ratchet to tighten no more than one quarter turn past the initial seating. Actual torque values can be found in the Bentley repair manuals, but a torque wrench may not always be able to fit in the space available. The torque for this N62 V8 is 18 foot-pounds. Install the coil by inserting into the well and over the spark plug. Seat the coil into proper position in the valve cover. Pull the harness plug locking clip upward and insert into the harness plug. Be sure to fully seat the plug into the coil's plug socket and push the locking clip down to pull the harness plug fully into the seated and locked position. We'll now install the coil securing brackets. Install the brackets with the front imprint toward the front of the vehicle. Tighten the Torx screw using the Torx bit and ratchet. The passenger side spark plugs and coils are removed and replaced in a similar manner to the driver's side. However, the rear plug still has an access issue similar to the driver's side. In this case, the air conditioning hose mounting bracket must be moved in order to remove the coil and the spark plug. The bracket is mounted to these two studs. We'll move the bracket back into its mounted position. Remove the two nuts from the mounting studs. Pull the bracket from the studs and push it downward below the studs. The coil and spark plug can now be removed similarly to the driver's side rear. Now this video is applicable to most 5, 6, 7, and X series models with the N62 V8 engine, as shown in the 550i that we used here. Now all of the parts you've seen, as well as the specialty tools, are available in our online store at bavauto.com. If you've liked this video, remember to hit your like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Remember our blog site, blog bavauto.com for more technical information for your BMW and Mini. Now with that, we're ready to go off and start another video.